Halo carbon and fluorolube are a certain type of fill. Does anybody know what they are? What makes them different than silicone, glycerin? Higher temperatures. Right? Yeah, temperature changes, they're called inert. An inert fill means it won't react to things. In other words, if it was to be, you'd have uh, the boron tube split or the gauge leak, and you were headed on oxygen. If you had glycerin or silicone, what's going to happen when it hits pure oxygen? You're going to get an explosion. Because any combination of pure oxygen with a hydrocarbon creates an explosion. When they deal with halo carbon and floor loop, so if you see a specification that says, I need an O2 clean gauge, and we need it to be filled with halo carbon and floor loop, that's because they need it for the vibration pulsation, but they can't take or risk the fact that if it failed, they could have an explosion. The problem is, halocarbon and fluorolube are inert, but there's two things they react to. They react to sodium, potassium, they basically aluminum and magnesium. Well, what's the dial made out of? Aluminum. The pointer's made out of aluminum. So what happens when you fill with these things, everybody's happy until about two months from now, they send it back and it's Coca-Cola color. And they go, man, we can't even read that thing. So there's other options that we have to come up with if somebody has that situation. 